do. Greetings, gentlemen, ladies. I'm the old school game snob in today's video. If you're having this problem right here with uh, your Daz characters, uh, th th this has to do with Daz character animations. Uh, yeah, y y yeah. Your character might be importing fine, but you're having some issues. Uh, here's how to solve this. Basically, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to head over into your project settings, uh, DAS to Unreal settings under the plugins menu over here. Uh, and what you need to make sure to do is fix bone rotations on import. Make sure this one is checked and only this one. Now, the thing is, initially, when you get um, the plugin installed, it will, it will be like this. Uh, but the pro uh, and you, you might bring your character over fine and it'll probably work with like unreal animations and you can retarget and all that will be fine but what you'll notice if you want to use daz animations you'll have a real problem um the way to import daz animations is this but if you've imported your character like this then your daz animations are going to they're not going to work uh, you need to re-export your character or possibly export a new character of a slightly different name if you run into in, any weirdness, because sometimes there's weird quirkiness that goes on, I can't explain it, or at least it seems that way anyway. Uh, you want to make sure your character is exported like this, and then when you export your animations from Daz, you want, also want this to be the setting. Basically, you just want to make sure that this is ticked in this, this configuration whenever you uh, export a character or an animation from Daz. Now, one weird thing is that, and this may or may not be true, but basically, uh, when I first imported my character, I started with this. If you have any sort of initial character setup issues, um, maybe make your first import like this. That's sort of the default configuration. And then come back and do your animation like that. And then you can redo your character like that after the initial character is sort of set up within Daz. Um, I don't know if that matters or not, but if you counter weirdness, try that. Um, otherwise, yeah. The reason that your character might be uh, looking weird is is that, and then basically what you'll see is when you export a character using that, that and only that ticked, you'll get that, right? You'll get that nice, uh, well, proper looking animation. Now, one other thing that you may need to do, which I did cover in a different video, is you may need to open up your, ja uh, your Genesis 8 uh, base skeleton. This is in your content your, your plugins root content directory. Let me show you really quickly where that is, just in case you're still having problems. This might also uh, be necessary. So basically, you want to look into your plugins, DAS to Unreal content, and then the retarget folder. Uh, you want to make sure that um, a couple of things are, where are they? Show engine, show plugin content, at least plugin content. You want to make sure you're getting above that content and game-based directory and seeing the plugin stuff outside of that. That's where you can find the mm, base skeleton. Sorry, it's not in the retarget folder. It's actually in the DAS to Unreal uh, Genesis, Genesis 8 base skeleton, right? Uh, now what you're going to want to do is just add a new retarget source like so, and you can select your character. Right, so I've already got both of mine here. Once you've selected them, just click Update, click Save, and you should see them like that. Uh, then go into the animation which is giving problem and uh, choose the retarget source. It'll be from default like this, and, and uh, it's not going to actually show for some reason. I don't know why. It doesn't unbreak once it's fixed, but um, you retarget your character to the retarget source, and that will fix any weird big explodey head. And you remember from Goonies, hey you guys, it kind of has a, so that sometimes the Daz animation looks kind of like that, like that, basically. Uh, and that's how to fix that, the hey you guys head. Um, so but yeah, basically you do that, you do that. Um, and you should be good, you should be good once you do those things. Anyway, uh, yeah, I, I make these videos so that when I have this problem again in the future and I forget how I fixed it, um, I, I can I, I, I have something to reference back on. And uh, it seems like uh, I'm not the only one who has these problems. So I hope this helps somebody uh, and also, yeah, me in the future. See you guys later.